In this video, I'm going to show you how to run match defense to stop the tight off the offense uh, in Madden 23. Now, the tight offense is one of the better offenses in the game, so I wanted to give you kind of some tips uh, in terms of how do you actually use match coverage to slow or bag the tight offensive meta. Now, uh, if you guys want to get my entire match defensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. The link is going to be in the description down below. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member. It's going to get you access to all of my 923 offensive and defensive ebooks. With that in mind, we are in the 46 playbook today. We're going to be taking a look at the 3 3 Cub uh, defense. One of the, this is, um, I do have a full ebook on this formation in particularly. And we're going to use the play Cover 4 Show 2. Now, the coaching adjustments you need to make sure you're using on this is you just simply want to make sure that zone coverage here is set to match. That is really important. Otherwise, they won't match. And then you want to set the cover four show two as your audible and you want to come out in the three three normal now you might be asking why do you recommend coming out in the three three normal formation um, it's because it's going to give you better personnel and it's going to give you better adjustments uh, which will show you how that works in this defense so what you're going to do is you're going to go down to cover four show two and i'm just going to show you kind of one of the couple different ways that your opponent is going to attack you you're going to notice here that any flood concept to the right side is going to be defended pretty well. But any flood concept to the left side, um, you're going to kind of get yourself into a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Might not work out in your favor. Okay, uh, and I'll show it to you again here. But if you look to the, to the right side, you're going to notice that this defense, uh, by and large, is going to bag any flood combination here to that side but if you look over here you see that i could be in potential you know danger to be giving up a touchdown on the sideline the reason is because match defense works differently um on when it's defending tight it works differently to either side so match defense is going to work one way to the running back side and it's going to work another way to the side that is opposite of the running back. Even though there's two receivers on both sides, the running back kind of uh, messes things up in the general match rules. So with that in mind, um, what I like to recommend to people is a couple of things you can do. So one of the things that I like to recommend is I do think it is very, very helpful against match coverage specifically uh, to do some variation of this right here. Uh, what, what we're going to do here is we're just going to put the cornerback on the left side of the screen into a outside third. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take that safety that is on that same side and we're going to put him into an inside third, as you can see right here. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to do a couple of things. Number one, it's going to make it so that this route combo right here can no longer really hurt me uh, to the left side unless he catches it like that, right? You have a defender in the area. Obviously, if you have deep out zone knockout on these players, they're going to play a little better. So that's one reason why you want to do that. Another reason why you want to do that is what I'm about to show you out of PA cross, which is a very popular uh, quick snap play out of tight. You're going to see here that this tight end route can sometimes cause uh, some problems over the top. It just is kind of one of those glitchier routes. It just gets this kind of real glitchy uh, separation. So what we're going to be able to do with this is when we go to this cover four show two defense, we're going to be able to put an outside third to the left and a middle third to that safety. And what you'll notice is if I go to PA cross, then this is going to be really effective at defending this because now the route that was cooking over the top is now double covered and you've got a chance at having a defender in that area to be able to take it away. Now, another thing that I think is actually really important to recommend here on this tight defense is you have to have curl flats or hard flats against tight. Quarter flats are just not very good, uh, to be quite honest, especially against tight. So what I like to do is I'm going to take both linebackers and put them in curl flats, uh, as you can see right here. Now, what this does is now we have this defender here in a quarter flat, which I'll come back to in just a second but we also have these thirds. Now I want to show you the one problem that this defense has or the one key issue, and that is short side flood concepts. Uh, what do I mean by short side flood concepts? I mean flood concepts to the left. Uh, if there is a flood to the left side, you're going to see here that the cover three is going to struggle to guard this, as you can see right there. Now there is a way around this, and, and really the key to this I think is twofold. 
but fairly simple adjustment. So we're going to put those two linebackers on curl flats. We're going to blitz my user, and then we're going to take that slot corner, and we're going to put him into a vertical hook. What you'll notice with this vertical hook is depending on the route distribution um, on that left side, like, for example, if we go with a streak and a corner route, what you're going to notice is a lot of times this vertical hook will actually match that corner, as you can see right there, and he will take that route completely away. Now, I want to give you another scenario that's actually really popular this year where they're just going to run basic bench. So if they just run like base, basic bench, right, they don't put that streak over there, what you're going to notice is this vert hook is now not responsible for matching this guy to the left side, and now your match rules are going to play, you know, your, your cover three is going to be able to handle it. So this is a great little tip, I think, to take away this um, flood concepts on both sides. You want your slot corner to be on the side opposite of the running back if possible because that is the side you need the most help. Again, to the right side of the screen, it doesn't matter what they do from a flooding perspective. They're not going to be able to attack you on the sideline uh, on the right side of the field unless he plays that terribly, even though he was out of bounds, right? They're not going to be able to attack you to that sideline. So what you get with this, and you could honestly, like if you, if you didn't care about the quarter flats, you could just vert hook that blitzing linebacker on the left side, and I'm pretty sure he's still going to match if they run a streak and a corner out to the short side. You see here Bo Jackson, he should match him to the corner as he does right there, and he's able to take this away. This is really important for taking away floods because now what this does is it makes it so that tight um, is in kind of trouble because they can't flood you on either side. And when they can't flood you on either side, now they're going to basically be uh, relying on how they can attack you you know, kind of in the middle of the field, which I think is one of the things that tight is really not the best for. Uh, and then you're going to get into route combos more so like this right here. And really all you need to do against something like this is you're going to kind of carry this, then you're going to go to this, and you've got that curl flat right there to take away that slot crosser. So this, I think, is a really good overall tight defense right now uh, out of match coverage. I do think that match coverage is kind of – starting to come into the picture I think is probably the better of all the defenses of the game especially when you put KOs on it so something to monitor we do have a full ebook in our patreon teaching the principles of match coverage if you want to check that out head down to the description below and click the link to go get signed up for the patreon page